Hi guys, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video about um, the ranges of the various horns that we're arranging for um, because it is required in your test that you know what the usable ranges are and their transpositions. So just a quick refresh because I've heard a few people asking questions about exactly how it works. Um, <clears throat> I just thought, so I'll go through trumpet, alto sax, tenor sax and trombone. So first of all, um, these images come from the David Baker arranging book, which I've been referring to in class. Um, so here we have the first one is trumpet, cornet and bass trumpet. Um, we're only interested in the trumpet, of course, um, but it has a written range of F sharp in the treble clef, so F sharp below middle C, up to C two octaves above middle C. And of course, the transposition of the B flat trumpet is it sounds a major second below written. So it written its written range is F sharp to C, but the sounding range is E natural below this F sharp. Notice the ch the clef change here up to B flat. Um, above, uh, sorry, below C, two octaves above middle C. So because the trumpet sounds a major second below, when we're writing for it, remember we need to write it a major second above the note that we want to hear. So for example, if your key signature, your concert key signature is in G major, your trumpet part will be a major second above that. So the way to figure that out is G major, <coughs> a major second above G is A. So your trumpet part will be in A major. So that's the only, when transposing instruments is the only time where your key signature will be different across um, your various instruments. Okay, so that's trumpet. Uh, we'll cover the trombone as well. Uh, seeing as it's the other brass uh, instrument that we're, we're doing. Now, the brass, uh, sorry, the trombone is not a transposing instrument. It sounds at concert pitch, and I can hear a sigh of relief from everyone. Uh, so the trombone is uh, in the bass clef, uh, written in the bass clef. Its range is an E below the, the stave in the bass clef, so that's an E two octaves below middle C all the way up to, um, that would be a B flat, <coughs> um, almost an octave above middle C. So there's no transposition of the trombone, its key signature is exactly the same, but you do need to know this range for the exam. Okay, on to the saxophones. Now, it's fairly easy to remember the written range of the saxophones, and if you know the transpositions, then you can figure out the sounding range. The written range of all saxophones uh, is the same, no matter which saxophone you're talking about. It's the transpositions which are different. Um, so if you know the transposition and the standard written range, you can figure out the sounding range. So all saxophone ranges uh, are from B flat below middle C all the way up to F uh, three octaves above middle C. So the third F you get to um, above middle C. So that's the, written, the standard written range for all saxophones. Now the two that we the two saxophones that we're interested in is the E flat alto and the B flat tenor. Now the names give us a clue to the transposition. E flat being a major sixth below middle C. So the transposition of the alto clef is a major sixth below written. So if you were to write middle C um, for the sax, the sound you would get is a major sixth below that, i.e. E flat. So <coughs> the, the sounding register for the alto sax is D flat to A flat. Now D flat is a major sixth below B flat, and A flat is a major sixth below F. 
Okay, so and again, because the alto sax sounds a major sixth below written, you must write the alto sax part a major sixth higher than you want it to sound. Okay. Now onto the tenor saxophone. The tenor saxophone. It's called a B flat tenor. Now it's not the same as a B flat trumpet. Um, it's slightly different. Although the interval is the same, the B flat tenor saxophone um, is a major second and an octave, and that interval is called a major ninth. So the tenor saxophone sounds a major ninth lower than written. So again, because of that, we need to write our part a major ninth above what we wanted to hear, but what we wanted to sound as. Um, so, and this is really important if you're trying to form maybe a close voicing um, in your uh, horn parts, it's really important to know the difference between major second and a major nine. Sure, if you're analyzing the chord in terms of, you know, is this an A minor seven chord or a B flat major, triad it's not going to make that much of a difference but if you want to know what the lowest note is uh, it might change your inversion it's kind of important to know um, whether it's a, a major second or a major nine because that can affect your chords quite a lot um, so yeah that's the uh, that's the basic arranges of the four horn parts that uh, you're needing to write for don't forget quick revision a guitar and a bass are both transposing instruments also. They transpose a, an octave below written. Just a little uh, thing to remember. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.